Welcome back. So that was a long video, but now you guys know about both the include and the then include. So now you can use that if you want to. I'm going to remove the then include again because I'm really not into actually getting the information. I only want when I'm getting all customers, I only want their IDs for addresses, not the actual addresses themselves. So that's why I'm kind of removing this guy again. And now <clears throat> what I want to do this lesson is instead of actually getting back the addresses as it is right now, let me try and show you. So when I do the send right now, um, you'll notice that I'm actually getting back the IDs, but I'm also getting back a lot of rubbish that I really don't need. Street, number, uh, city. We already talked about this, this a bit. I don't want the actual object back. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a new field here called address IDs. So I just want one that's just returning a list, a symbol, and array of all the IDs for all the addresses. Again, this is just to show you another possibility of how you handle your data for passing it back and forth. And then I'll let, instead of letting the repository take care of figuring this out, I'm going to let the business logic layer figure it out in the service layer. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to jump back to the code to change this from addresses into actually having addresses ID and addresses. I want both to be available, but normally I just want to return the IDs and then I can extend on that later on. Great. Let's stop the application now and uh, jump into our uh, beautiful, beautiful customer business object up here. There we go. Now I want to add a new thing up here. I want the list of addresses, but I also want a public um, in list of ints like this. That's going to be called address IDs like this. So now I have both available. Now I can choose to either send back only the IDs or the actual address objects. I'll do a get and a set right here and there we go. Now the address IDs is pretty easy for me to populate because I already have the information available. So I'll go down to my converter and I'll say now I actually want to populate the customer converter here. I want to populate the address IDs uh, right away. So notice right now what I'm doing is I'm saying when I'm converting, let's do it the other way around. When I'm converting from a customer entity into a customer business object, right now I'm actually getting the actual addresses but I already have the information available right here that I want to populate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another guy here called addresses IDs is equal to and then we're going to say customer addresses just like we're doing here and I'm going to do a select select just like we're doing down here and then I'm just going to select all the IDs of um, the actual customer and again of course I need to do the lambda probably and I'll say just grab all the address IDs nothing else. Now that's how simple that actually was. Uh, because I'm getting back an actual int value right here. Now the problem is it complains that I need to do a to list. There we go. So now I'm actually just saying, give me all the customer IDs and convert them into the address ID. So now I'm getting a pure list of address IDs. And let's see if this actually runs right now. That was the only thing I had to change those two variables right there. And now I'm actually getting back only the address IDs. So the program has all been running. Let's try and do a send again. And notice now I'm actually getting back the address IDs as their own small field right here. I'm still getting back all the addresses. So let's just remove that from the converter. And this is again a choice. But I want my converter, let me just stop this. I want my converter to when it converts from an entity to a business object, I only want as default, I only want it to actually bring back um, the address IDs. That's all I want as default in my converter. You can make your own, make your own choice there. Uh, if I want the addresses, I'll add them later on with the business object. Using my um, service, my customer service, I'll actually add the addresses. So as default, when I use the converter, just give me the IDs, nothing else. That's all I want from you, just give me the IDs. So that's it for this lesson. Let me just try and run it one final time and show you that all we're getting now when we're calling for actually uh, getting all customers it's just their ID, no noise in there, just a list of IDs for addresses. So I've started it all again and here we go. We only get the address IDs. Right now this guy is null now, the addresses. And then if you decide in the business logic layer inside your um, customer service, you can go and say, well, actually I also want in this specific business request, I also want the addresses. But as default, when I'm calling get for all customers, I'm only getting back an array of IDs right now. See you in the next, le next lesson where we'll start talking about how we can actually get the addresses now. See you next time.